Ferdinand di Marco di Tata Lagaco Ang Ferdinand Emmanuel Edgerlin Marcosino was born on September 11, 1917 and died on September 28, 1989. He was a Filipino politician who was the president of the Philippines from 1965 to 1986. He ruled as a dictator under martial law from 1972 until 1981. In 1969, he was re-elected becoming the first Philippine president to serve a second term. During his first term, he had made progress in agriculture, industry, and education. On October 1979, the letter of instruction 949, the legal basis of the primary health care, was signed by President Ferdinand T. E. Marcos, which adopted the primary health care as an approach towards design, development, and implementation of programs to focusing on health development at community level here in the Philippines. The National Kidney and Transplant Institute, National Kidney Foundation of the Philippines, created on January 16, 1981, by virtue of Presidential Decree 1832, signed by then President Ferdinand E. Marcos. PCMC Philippine Children's Medical Center On August 10, 1979, the hospital known as Lungsod ng Kabataan was established through Presidential Decree 1631. It also has the most comprehensive pediatric rehabilitation facility and the most extensive pediatric multi-specialty for inpatients as well as for clinic service to outpatients and referrals. LCP the Lung Center of the Philippines was established through Presidential Decree No. 1823 on January 16, 1981 to provide the Filipino people state-of-the-art specialized care for lung and other chest diseases. President Marcos also wanted the Philippines to become an energy self-reliance. That's why his regime completed 20 power plants. Here are some of the power plants that were established during his time. Agosto Hydroelectric Power Plant completed in 1979. Agos 4 Hydroelectric Power Plant completed in 1985. Agos 5 Hydroelectric Power Plant completed in 1985. Agos 6 Hydroelectric Power Plant recommissioned in 1977. Agos 7 Hydroelectric Power Plant completed in 1982. Gat Hydroelectric Power Plant completed in 1967. Bataan Nuclear Power Plant completed in 1983. The lack of food production is evident before the time of Marcos. So he introduced the Green Revolution to his people to make the country food sufficient. Through the people's enthusiasm and Marcos' great effort, the production of IR-8 rapidly spread in the Philippines. The Philippines exported $7 million worth of rice and this was the first time that the Philippines became food sufficient in 1968. After all these achievements of Marcos, he is claimed to be one of the most prolific and effective leaders of the country, who has made the largest infrastructure investment which showed his potential that made the economy grow and made the Philippines a better country.